Welcome to ITU Telecom 2017 here in Busan in the Republic of Korea and I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio this morning by Ji Young Lee who is Senior Manager Public Relations for KT Korea Telecom. Ji Young Lee, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you for inviting me to this interview. Nice now, to meet you. That's great. No, nice yes. to meet you too. I wanted to start off by talking a little bit about KT and uh, I wanted to ask you about what drives KT and Korea to introduce 5G earlier than any other network operators or countries in the world? And what makes KT so unique in the 5G area? Yes, KT is the world's best wired and wireless networks and has started the internet service of uh, 1 gigabit per second for the whole country for the first time in the world in 2014. And it's natural to expand this experience in wired to wireless and giga internet to 5G. So KT made it a goal to uh, complete the intelligent network early so that it will be the pipeline of the fourth industrial revolution So uh, with 5G network. And based on this, KT hopes to uh, make Korea be prepared to lead uh, the, the core technologies of fourth industrial revolution and expand the new businesses. Where is KT headed for and what new opportunities is, does KT see for the future? Yes. KT focuses on five platforms, um, and that is that includes uh, uh, media, smart energy, and company and public uh, value investment, and commerce, and disaster and security uh, sectors. So, uh, for example, the flagship services are KT Microenergy Grid. It's a, it's called KT Mac, and also Giga uh, Giga Eyes and Giga Genie, which is the AI assistant and um, Giga IoT Smart Air. So with these services, we would like to focus on the convergence technologies either. So that's what we are heading for. Now, the Winter Olympics uh, next year, yes. uh, what, uh, what uh, do you uh, think that we can expect to see? And what are you, are you trying many 5G services yes. I'm, I'm hearing? What, what uh, do you think will be the highlights of that? Yes. Um, we believe that this Olympic will be the, uh, the field that we can show our ICT technologies with the global communities. And so KT takes responsibility of the um, network uh, infrastructure for the whole uh, 69 venues of the Olympics. So we are preparing for it and we, also we already established the conduit line of 1.39 kilometers all over Gangwon province and we'll showcase the 5G trial network in Pyeongchang and Gangneung, as well as um, inter International Airport and part of Seoul. So we believe that all the visitors can enjoy um, the best network environment and, uh, and also visitors can enjoy the winter sports in inside track using 5G network. So, and it'll totally transform the experiences of watching the sports event. No, I'm sure it will. And KT, obviously a very important sponsor here. I wanted to find out for you, what is the value of uh, being involved with events such as ITU Telecom World? Uh, this is the third consecutive year that KT participates in ITU. Uh, and this is the, very, uh, the biggest event um, for the inter internet communication, telecommunication network. So I believe that uh, here, uh, this time, the agenda is commercialization of 5G and its standardization. So here we would like to uh, introduce our 5G network technologies and uh, try to tell the participants to consider it as the uh, international standard technology. And also as Korea's representative network operator, uh, KT is going to lead the global 5G ship by showcasing the innovative 5G network technology in, at this event. Jiyongli, thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio today and uh, we look forward to catching up with you again soon. Thank you. Thank you.